Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we got to talk about Dr. Heavenly addressing uh, people impacting her business that is not the Melameters or Mel supporters. Let's talk about it because I don't believe this is the real reason she left Carlos King and Messy Mondays, right? Uh, so anything I say is alleged in my personal opinion. This is for entertainment purposes only. None of this is personal. Uh, we got the Copyright Act information, of course, in my description and all of the things, you guys. Uh, so let's get into it, you guys. A, we've got some clips that are dropping because the season premiere of the newest season of Married to Medicine is going to drop this Sunday, right? And what better way than to drop a scene of Dr. Heavenly, Dr. Damon, and uh, Cecil, and Dr. Simone having a powwow, right? And so right off the rip, Cecil is like, hey... Do you feel that you owe Letitia an apology? And, uh, you know, Dr. Heavenly's like, for what? You know, like, maybe you should smooth things over about that, right? And so then Dr. Heavenly gets in the confessional and she's like, listen, anytime somebody's going to come for me or my business or whatever, uh, you know, you come for my man, I'm gonna come for yours, right? And they showed the screenshots of, you know, how Dr. Heavenly was going in on uh, Sweet Tea's uh, fertility issues, uh, some issues regarding, um, you know, some things that have happened to different relatives in her family. And then, of course, the tweets alleging that Dr. Greg was an ABUSER. And that he was controlling and all these things. And Dr. Heavenly even owned that she can go too far sometimes, right? And that she has and that she does. Why? Well, I, I think we need to we need to increase the sometimes to like all the time, Dr. Heavenly, right? But nonetheless, another hole in the story you guys because when, when you're trying to do these explanations and you ship out carlos king and you ship out funky dineva to put out the dog whistle oh, oh it's all the millimeters fault they were trying to ruin her business they were trying to attack her business they were trying to get her shut down they were showing up to the office to fight her and bloody bloody blah Again, nobody ever provides proof. Nobody ever provides any screenshots of anything. And please do not direct me to anything that is unhinged on Facebook because there are 20 million Mel, uh, Sheree, Rogers hate groups on Facebook that y'all never post about. So, so please miss me with the fake outrage about Facebook, right? Uh, so nonetheless, I knew this was going to happen. I knew anything that was going to be in regards to any quote-unquote ops of Dr. Heavenly that she was going to flip this around and make this about people coming for her businesses and coming for her man. What Mel supporter or Melameter has come for Dr. Damon, right? Outside of the stuff that Mariah had presented on the show, right? And in her interview with Carlos King. You see what I mean? See see how this is all going to quickly vindicate people? This is all going to quickly vindicate. Now, maybe Dr. Heavenly wants to keep under wraps the real reason she wants nothing to do with Carlos King, which I still believe she feels she was doing the legwork in the Love and Marriage Huntsville reviews for somebody who didn't watch the show and didn't wasn't all up to date on everything. And then I think that Marquez interview was the straw that broke the camel's back because she's up here thinking there's a certain narrative and Marquez is telling you a totally different narrative um, and some other behind the scenes information that is not being presented on the TV screen. And that was when Dr. Heavenly did that live and said that she did not want to break up and ruin a black family. She did not want to break up uh, a, a black uh, marriage and all this other stuff. Didn't want to ruin anybody's kids. Didn't want to ruin anybody's lives, except for apparently sweet teas, right? Uh, and anybody else that, that is in her crosshairs. But it is an easy cop out, like I said, 
for everybody associated with Love and Marriage Huntsville, whether it's a cast member, whether it's a relative, whether it's whomever, to blame any misfortune on a millimeter, on a male supporter. And I said, let's let's see this unfold. Let's watch this play out. And immediately the first clip that drops, you guys, is Dr. Heavenly using the same exact talking points that she used when she claimed to quit Messy Mondays. So there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.